Now, I'm going to teach you how to design a tiny home. Okay? Are you watching? Now, can you see red or black? Does it matter to you? I heard that you're colorblind. Well, you just called the black red and the, <laughs> and the red black. Apparently, I'm colorblind. Okay? <laughs> Clearly. Now, Ace, Ace, this is black and this is red. Okay? Now, which one would you like me to use? Can you touch it? Which one? Red. He I'll go red. I'll go with red. All right. <laughs> now, I heard you're wanting a new doghouse. So I can't leave for a, point, a pee break yet. Look, <laughs> to get comfortable, it's a swivy chair. I know it's a little uncomfortable. Hey, and you want a little doghouse, right? All right. So do you want a dormer on it or do you want, yeah, biscuits? Yeah, I know what you want. You want a doggy door and you want somewhere to put biscuits, right? And then you want somewhere where all the guys can come and bring you breakfast and put bacon inside your house. Got room for his moo cow that he stole from another dog here. That's not his toy. He stole it and brought it here? He stole it. He's the biggest thief on the entire compound. I've had to keep compound? him Compound? Yeah, I've had to keep him here. I knew his compound. I got him on a leash now. He doesn't run wild anymore. He is not all happy right, about Ace. that. All right, Ace, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> all right. You know when you draw a house, right? This is your dog house, buddy, right? So here you got typical house, eight foot. And let's just gonna say we're gonna, you know what? We're gonna increase. We're gonna give you a twenty foot house, Ace. You gotta pay attention. You're losing him. If you don't pay attention to me, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna give you a biscuit. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes, and this is the famous Ace. Ace, look, it's okay, buddy. Be still. Look at him. Are you good? He's huh? such a good boy. Oh, are you good? Oh, you can get out of the chair. Come on, you ready to get down? I'm going to yeah. hold it. Don't spin on us. Oh, look, it's going to spin on us. It's going to spin. Here, let me get you. <laughs> good boy. Yay. Good job, Ace. All right. Good job, baby. Yeah. That's a good job. Ah. He's so happy. That's my boy. <laughs> well, he did pretty good. He did good. I thought he did He's good. Going. And he picked what color? Look, Aww, he's going to pull your microphone off of oh, you. Oh, that is right. Well, now he's wanting some loving. Hey, this is Tuesday. I thought all day Tuesday. today it was Monday. I swear, I thought. Felt like it. Probably two of the bit busiest days of my entire, I think I may have said this before, but I think to yesterday and today was probably the two of the big busiest days of the entire me being in business ever. Um, there's a lot of things on it, and it's not really due to the special that we're putting on. Mm -hmm. It's just regular work. So um, I can't tell you, this is this is kind of where I reside temporarily, all whatever. There's so many things going on here. Um, if you're a customer of ours and you're watching this, this is a really hard thing to do. All right, everybody, I'm the builder of your home. Uh, we have delays. We have people that, you know, that we've... Uh, they're waiting for their homes, people that were fixing their homes, people that were getting ready to build their homes, people that are under construction of their homes. And if you think about all of the questions and the, the anticipation and the excitement, and um, maybe there's there's some disappointment where people, hey, I didn't get my house on time or it's not started yet. All these, and then you got anxiety and fear of I'm gonna get it when I need it. There's things going on. And, and we are aware 100% of every concern. And I think that's why you bought a home from us. We're also, I think you all, you are banking on me as your builder and a company that you trust that we will deliver your home and it'll be built right. Um, I still want to reassure you that that's true. You have every bit of me involved in this entire project, plus a massive team behind us, behind me. Um, I've taken, uh, a builder off the floor who's been with us for about four years almost. Um, you guys might know him. His name's Bart. Bart has come off the floor from building. He was actually building homes for us for years. He's been out in the, um, before he came here, he was in the construction field for about 20 years. Uh, he's very meticulous, very good. Um, he's a good speaker. He's he, auditorily, he can, is that how you say it? Auditorily. He's able to talk Audibly. to people. You know, he's able to communicate what he wants. Um, to guys out here and he likes teaching so we brought him inside the office not in here but 
not building and bring us in to coordinate and help get our partnerships and the guys building all these homes on um, just organized. It's always going to take more and more organized. And I told you this year is a year of perfection for us. And that's what I mean. We've started out of the gate shooting cannons and trying to get there faster than you guys know. I know. And it's already the, uh, today's the 12th. Today's I can't 12th. even believe that half the month is almost gone. It's gone. Yes. I, I'm already Crazy. in my mind seeing July. Oh, you, you know? have to. So, yeah. <clears throat> but I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up of what's going on in the company, how we're doing this. And he came in, uh, co-construct is a big, uh, a big item for us. It's a software that we're using. We got it. It's a, we can get it on our phone. We can get on all the builds, the blueprints, the emails, the texts. I mean, all, so much information, uh, inventory lists. I hope I'm not boring you with all this is real technical stuff, but I'm trying to explain to you what's in, what's behind the scenes in the company. If you're excited about your build and you want us to build, I want to be, I want you to be more excited of how we're trying to build better and build more on time as a business guy if you don't get your house quick we lose money so if it's been three or four months and we were six months behind a while ago so you know and so if your house is four months out we're still within that six months we will get yeah. it out but we want to get your house built within a month but we just don't have that we don't have the guys right so that's why we formed partnerships is to expedite our builds because our profit margins are not that great, as you guys know. But the more we build at one time, then we can probably, hopefully, start creating some income um, and not have to go up too much on our prices, right? So it's, this is all volatile. It's all trying to figure it out. And you got our accountant and our book work and our expenditures mm -hmm. and what we're doing as we're growing. It's so hard. It's like catching the wind, you know? It's like catching a leaf that's falling off a tree. It's always changing. There's things that move it, unexpected expenses, and all this stuff. Very seldom is there ever a positive thing that makes the company grow other than more sales. But more sales, as you know, creates more work, more overhead, more uh, everything. Right. So there's that balance that we have. So, and it comes to regular stick-built homes that we build, tiny homes, as you guys are know, on, on wheels. Um, we have our partnerships with our guys. We build about probably, we got, what, man, the 15, 17 builds that we can build in Tennessee. Right. Right mm -hmm. here. We got the one in Oregon and we got the one in Kentucky. So most of it yeah. is built right here in Tennessee. So with that said, we've got that down, um, how to build. We know our process and everything we're doing. The biggest thing is inventory, keeping it going. We have had such a hard time. And I don't know if it's to COVID or not, but you know our tongue and groove we put on the walls, mm -hmm. okay? We have a supplier that I have been building log homes since 1990, and he I never have ever, ever, ever been out of V-Groove. We call it tongue and groove or V-Groove. Yeah, right. He's eight weeks out getting us our V-Groove. That's insane. Eight weeks. Um, Jeez. Lap siding. We've been waiting for... Four weeks on lap siding. We have houses that need V group. Houses that need siding. Houses that um, we had. We got we got windows. We've called that are nine to twelve weeks out. You know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, cedar, you can't get it anywhere in the United States. I think we mentioned that before. We don't use a lot of cedar, but there's a lot of things going on. All right. So what we're trying to do is get ahead of the curve, get ahead of what's going on, and, and try to. Uh, order these things. So we're actually ordering things, right, that were projected builds, but now that we've got a lot of financing, we don't get money in until we build. Right. So now we're having to buy all this stuff and not have the money to buy it because we got to build the home to, to sell it, get it done, get the money out of the financing and pay for the... So it's a... Man, it's, it's a, a juggling It's an unbelievable act. dance. It's a, yeah, it's a dance. And we're... To get this done is just so challenging, you know. Now, Dave's asking about a flat log or D log. Is that hard to get a hold of? <clears throat> we don't really do any of that, you okay. know. Now, flat log siding is your one by twelve. Um, we haven't sold a lot of that. We've had it stocked up here, you know, for much. So we build one out of ten with flat log siding. So that's we haven't had to order it to find out. Mm -hmm. The D log siding we built two homes with D log siding out of five hundred fifty homes. 
mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, but other than that, uh, water heaters are hard to get a hold of. Um, range hoods, uh, plumbing valves. Mm -hmm. Today we needed, I told Tom, I said, I need for my uh, foam houses, you know, I said, Tom, I need 15, you know, shower valves, right? He said, Randy, they only got six at the store. Oh, my god! They only gosh. got four in Morristown. And he said, they don't have any in Sevierville. Or what is going on? They don't have any. He said, I've got them on back order. They're supposed to be shipped here tomorrow. We have four. Jeez. He said, it's killing us. He said, I can't get range hoods. Um, so so what we do is the guys are doing their plumbing. They have to stop. And they got to, you know, they'll yeah. keep going. But mm -hmm. you want to finish what you were doing and come right. back. And it's just, it's just the way it is. All right. So right. we're all adjusting to this. But that affects profits. It does. It affects the houses getting done on time, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you got partnerships here, there's that learning curve where they're going to take longer than our normal builds because they're learning. So the longer they take, the less homes they're going to be building. And so it, they'll ramp up after they learn, but that's a learning curve. So there's so many moving parts to this. And, well, and Siobhan said the world is on back order. Cindy said it's all from the disasters. She's asking. She didn't know. But we don't, there's so much out there that's been going on for all this to be behind. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, out in Oregon, they had, uh, I think they were out almost three weeks. Nobody did anything because mm -hmm. of COVID and sick and everything. You know, we've had guys out, not with COVID, but they were sick. Got on and on and on about, you know, just flu and stuff going on and that. Um, but I just wanted kind of to share with you right. what's going on behind the scenes. Not complaining one bit. We're doing great. We're, the sales have come in. Sam said that he thinks yesterday and today are more calls than he's had ever since he's been working with us. Yeah. Yesterday and today. And that's not just about our foam special. I mean, our foam. I'm going to call them engineered ESP panels. Okay? ESP. ESP. And... uh so that all those calls wasn't about that. It was about regular homes, you know. So he had a, he said ten percent of them was our special, and it's really going really really well. We've had, I can't tell you if if it keeps going the way it will, we may have we may um, reach our goal by the end of the week. Mm -hmm. So in one week, I know it's insane. Yeah. So I always try to inside. I try to think of. What's going to resonate with you all? What's going to resonate with the public and the price and, and the amenities and all that stuff? And I try to, in the floor plan and, and how we can, you guys can make and we can make out and we can all, you know, have a good product. You get a good product. You know, it's tested. You've seen it before in the 8x24s. We've shown videos of it. It's engineered. It's ANSI. Mm -hmm. Well, and too, I just want to say, because you don't see the comments that's coming in, but yeah. everybody is willing, even Wanda, willing to drive from Alabama and meet somewhere to bring stuff. David and people said, hey, maybe some of the viewers can oh. send send stuff from their really? Lowe's or their local places to get some of this stuff. Everybody's so willing to help. So this is what I exactly... This is exactly what this community is about. There, there's people that does not that does not fit this the way the company is the 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 company the um, all the uh, the community out there and everything and the resort all that kind of stuff. But everybody's always on here jumping on board and willing to help. And that's what this whole that's what this whole project is all about. That's Completely, it. it's a big domino effect, you know, Guys of good. Of good. Of good. Guys are looking at me today. Our Bart was in here. And he's, you know, he's a carpenter. He's been in here. Will was in here and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> Amanda, Tom <clears throat> were going, running in and out of the door and everything. And, and uh, Bart looked at me and he said, we're going to make this real work, Randy. Yeah. And I just stopped. And I was like, you know, he just got into this doing this. He goes, I really like where we're going with this, Randy, this co-construct. And oh, it's on my phone. He goes, Randy, we're going to make it. We're going to make this work. And he says, I can just feel it. Yeah. And it just, oh, it was just such an encouraging word. Even though, you know, he's just trying to, because normally you don't ever hear anybody talk like, he's a carpenter, you know, going on. Um, man and I, Tom and Will, you know, we always encourage each other like that. But for him just to step in the, into the arena, um, for sure, you know, I can see it. You know what, man, that made me think of that what? story I told New Year's Eve about Mary Oh yeah, and her 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 uh, picture <clears throat> that she's seen of me. I don't know if you remember. God, the picture she's seen of you. All right, she there's a lady named Mary. She died, 
everybody. She came here and she was loving on everybody. She was really centric. We all fell in love with her. She brought stuff for the guys every morning to eat. She gave my mom stuff, clothes and gifts and flowers and just came out of nowhere, right? And the first time she seen me, she, she screamed, Randy Jones! And then she ran up to me, and I've told this story a couple of times, and, uh, and she stopped before, she, before I went up to her, or I gave her a hug, and she pushed me, and she goes, she went like this, and she looked around. She said, they're singing. They're, they're cheering, Randy. And I said, what are they doing, Mary? She goes, the angels are cheering, Randy. The angels are cheering. They're cheering you on. She says, don't give up. Don't give up. She kept on saying that, you know. I didn't even know her from Adam. And then she ended up staying here and just having, we all really enjoyed her, you know. And then before she left, I got a bum left shoulder and she was like, let's take that energy and push it out. And she was pushing it out. And it was kind of neat. She was doing that. And, 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 and then she stopped. She said, you know, you know, Jesus Christ is a jokester, don't you? And I said, he is. She said, oh, yeah, he wears sunglasses. He's laid back, man. He loves what you're doing, man. That's what she would do. And I just thought she was so great. And she said, Randy, what's going on right here is that you're in an arena, like the Gladiators Arena, and you're down on the floor, and the whole stadium is full of angels. And they're cheering you on. And they're telling you, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going, Randy. And she was going like that. And I said, Mary, yes, God, you're awesome, Mary. I'd thank you. And, you know, well, she left for Thanksgiving two years ago. And she never came back. She died of a massive heart. And she was my age. And her daughter called. And just before she left, she knew we were financially in some hardship. And she wrote me a check for $35,000 without a contract, without anything. Just wrote it to me. And she goes, here you go, Randy Jones. She goes, when you get time, you'll build me a couple houses for that, but you need this money right now. When she died, her daughter called me. It was about as sweet as her. She said, Randy, I know my mom gave you that money. Mom's gone. And um, she says, we're not going to get the tiny homes. And I said, I know. I said, I need to pay you back. She goes, now, I know you don't have it right now. She goes, let's work together. I'm in no hurry for it. Took me a year to pay it back. Her daughter came up here with her husband and a little girl. I wrote him a check. It felt so great to write her a check for $35,000. But right after that is when I did the RJO. And that's what got the business. It's, it's guts to keep going. <clears throat> I started being a vegan right after that because her health and she was thin. And I thought, you know, she probably did. But come to find out, she didn't. You know, she was just eating regular like regular Americans do. And I thought to myself... I need to take care of myself because there's a long road I got ahead of me and I can feel the stress. One day I could feel my chest tightening up, my neck felt like it was choking. And, um, and I said, I've got to stop because there's a lot of people relying on me. So I quit eating everything. I quit eating meat and dairy and you name it just for health reasons, you know. And since then, I think I've really benefited from it. I feel like I got more energy. I can take on more things. So she came here and her passing has gave, given me, you know, the sense to take care of myself better, you know. So it was really cool how it all linked together. But I don't know why I was getting on with Mary, but I think it was the arena thing I wanted to tell you. <clears throat> and it was, it was kind of neat. I don't know how all that goes, but it was a pretty picture, you know. And I feel like here, when we are here in this, you know, we're doing what we're doing. You can spiritualize a lot of things in life. Some people believe in that. Some people don't. But um, I've chosen to build this company. I've chosen to be here. I can walk out the door and leave, right? So this is what I've chosen. And nobody's forced me or put me into this position. And, um, but it is like an arena because of the amount of work, the amount of adversity that we have just trying to take this company in a, into a zone or an area. We're not just selling shoes. We're not selling something that's been built for hundreds of years. We're selling something that's new. It's hard to sell. You can't get it zoned. You can't get it to a place. You can't get any financing. It's just a bunch of can'ts, right? But we've been successful, and we've <clears throat> taken some really hard shots too, you know? Not from people, just running a business. It's hard. And I'm not the smartest guy in the world. And I'm trying to make this thing all work. And so I'm trying to get people around me that are smarter than me, that can help me, that can get this thing going, because I think we got a really good concept, and I think we got a good product. 
You know, there's, I love it when other tiny homes, and I've only heard one that kind of was saying we weren't building good homes at the price we at, we sell them at. But I was really, I mean, that's a compliment, and that's competition. So I love competition. I love the game of business, and I love the game of, of any kind of competition, you know, really. But <clears throat> being in this arena has really been stimulating for me in every aspect, from physically mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and it's not just me, it's everybody in here. Amanda uh, is taking a big load on her, and Tom, and now Will jumped into the fire, and Bart's in here, um, but it's, it, you know, it's, it's what we've chosen to do, uh, so it's not to be pitied or anything like that, you know, I really enjoy what I do. So I wanted to tell the people that are believing in our company and that you guys that are wanting to buy a house or you bought a house from us or you're waiting for your house or you're waiting for some of it. To, we do have a warranty list that we've and I've hired a guy to just take care of our warranties. This is Dave, David Ortman. Dave's come in here. He's an ex-military guy. He came in here. He's super orderly. He's actually doing our video and written curriculum. So we've hired him to take care of the warranties because we're trying to build homes. You know, the warranties will not get the attention because we're just building homes and trying to get inventory. I said, Tom, we got to get this. And David just walked into our life and said, so he's super, you know, organized. I said, Dave, can you do this? And he's a hands-on. He knows how to do things. He's doing a great job. So if you have any kind of warranty issues, uh, David, you'll be hearing from him. Also out in the forest that we have all our homes being parked. We got decks, sheds, and, you know, underpinning and all that kind of stuff that'll be done. He's overseeing that. We've got a chart. We've got a list. We've got three more uh, sheds that have been built. We've got enough decks out here. I think the deck four or five homes. We got guys building decks, um, sheds, all that. Right. So right. we're we're on it. We're moving this. We may not be moving as fast as we need to be. Mm -hmm. um, it never moves fast enough for me. I'm very hard to be satisfied inside me. I'm never I'm never good enough. I'm never fast enough. Never smart enough. <laughs> never ever. Man, it can attest to that. Um, but that's what I fight. I don't try to project that on anybody else because I always tell everybody they're doing a great job. Just, just keep going on. But I never tell anybody how I, I wish there was more and more. And I don't ever say that, you know. But inside me, it's a, you don't want to be in here because it's, it's always never satisfied kind of thing. You know, I am. I'm, I'm happy to be doing what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm always... Because I see people that need their homes. I see people that need the repairs. I see people, we got a house over here that, um, that you know, had the leak and there were polyurethaning and the customers here from Florida. And I put them in a hotel. We put, I think we paid five or six days doing stuff and they wanted to go through and did some other things. And it's just, uh, it's just the way it is in yeah. business. But you know what? We keep fighting. And two, I just going. want you to know that everybody is just super encouraging uh, they enjoyed the story, and they said that uh, Mary is one of your guardian a angels in no. the arena now. So just, uh, you know, cheering you on, yeah. and that everybody's just, uh, they're just fantastic on here. And then Will's on here, and uh, so there's, it's just a Man. lot of encouragement. You know, I really, sometimes I can't wait to get on the shows just to feel that, just to yeah. know that there's people buying it, because... They are. We take a lot of hits, man, and, um, you know, I've... I can't tell you everything that's going on in the business because I don't want to, you know, there's, there's some heavy stuff that happens a lot and there I got to handle it and I got to mm -hmm. make sure, I got to talk to customers that are, that are not happy with me. Mm -hmm. I have to talk to business deals. I got to, there's a lot going on, but in the, but with all that, the positive and what's really behind the energy behind what we do is way bigger than any negative thing that could ever come right. across my desk, mm -hmm. you know? Me being the owner, I have to handle all the negative, you know. Tom helps me. He takes it on his shoulders quite a bit, too. And I worry about him because he's 20 years my younger, and uh, he's already turning gray, you know. So, but we love what we do. Nobody's forcing us to do this, like I've said before, you know. So thank you guys for watching. This is not a pity party. This is not to, hey, hey you know, I don't, you know, I'm not asking anybody to say anything for me. I really just want to educate you all as new customers, good uh, previous customers or customers we're building for, this is who we are. This is what we're doing. And you have every bit of us behind you in your home, even though you may not think or you haven't been informed. But I want to tell you where we're trying to get for this year 
So we'll inform you more. We just sent out an email to all the partnerships. Now we can talk to the partnerships, all of them at one time, and send them out. So we've sent them out that they have to have pictures. So if you haven't been in pictures of your homes, I went on co-construct and I was, <clears throat> I was just upset that there was homes that didn't have up-to-date pictures. And that's why I brought Bart in. I can't oversee that. There's too much on my desk to be doing. So Bart's going, and we sent out an email. They have to have pictures in. We have to have a schedule of events every single day of how this house is going to be done, right? When's it going to be completed? I mean, we got like Mr. Macheski out there in Washington. He wants to know when his house is done. I told him we're going to put a schedule on there. So the guys in Oregon have got to put on there. These are the things we're going to accomplish. And this is when our estimated date of completion that's all the homeowner wants. And what to wants. expect, yeah. Yeah, that's all the homeowner wants. Mm -hmm. I know what a homeowner wants. I, I know everything what a homeowner wants. And when it's not done, it's upsetting. So that's what Bart's in charge of. So we sent that out. They're not going to get any money, right, until the pictures are in. Right. Until the schedule is done. Mm -hmm. Until their non-compete clause is in and their W-9s and their workman's comp. It has to be in or they're right. not going to get any money. Right. So I hate to do that, but I ha and I hadn't been doing it because I just I like all the guys, but because they're not doing it and they're great guys. But, you know, as you know, they carpenters are. are going on. They just like, ah, mm -hmm. I didn't thought about it or not. Stop. This is the year of perfection, yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm on it. This is massive for us. We won't make it unless we get perfect. Right. All right. So we're going to get that down. So hopefully you guys will see this in the next couple of days that on our co-construct software, you guys will start seeing more pictures of what's going on, all right? Hopefully we'll see that, that uh, chart start um, eating up more homes. We've got three or mm -hmm. four more partnerships coming in this year, the first of the year, coming here to stay here, mm -hmm. right? So we're excited about that and adding to our more builds that we can do. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. So, but thank you for listening to all that. And it was just to, it was just to explain to you guys where we're at as a company, where we're going, where we've been. And they totally get it. And they're totally where we're at because where they follow us and they watch all the shows and everything, they know where we're at. You had the big meeting um, last Thursday or yeah. last Wednesday, whatever, yep. partnership meeting. Yep. We didn't video it because, I mean, it's a personal, you know, yeah. private thing to talk to them. But then you're sharing everything that was shared with them about that. So, um, and then plus with it being the first of the year, what a better time than to go ahead and start implementing all this. It's like, okay, this is new, but now we really need to, the rubber meets the road. Now we've got to, now we've got to in, make sure it's all done. Well, you know what? You come up with ideas, right? So yeah. we have a meeting and you say, okay, right. here's all the things we want to do. And then the meeting's over and we go back to work, ah, building, mm -hmm. right? What about all those things we just talked about? I know. How are they going to be implemented and who's going to make sure that those things are done right. and they're brought to, brought to reality, right? Yeah. And two, we, exactly. because we know, we, just like Randy said, we know that they're wanting to build. And so we've been super lenient with some of this paperwork and stuff. But it's like now, it's listen, there's tax time coming up. It's, it's a have to, have to, have to situation. So, yeah. but now it's time. Uh, good question. What was it that David just asked? Oh, would you want to share that on the, the actual, what is the, um, the schedule, the build schedule, the, what they have to complete? Or you don't want to share that. I don't know if it's yeah, yeah, yeah. On on uh, like the phases where they what they have to complete, they get paid. Complete, get paid. Well, uh, yeah. Before what we were doing, we if were getting more money coming in from the builds because we we're getting almost a hundred percent on the builds. Right. We would pay half up front and half when we're done, and we'd hold out a thousand dollars for our partnerships. So how does it go? Like from what part to how does it partnership the pay? Well, no, the build. Like so, you get this done. This is a, a draw. Okay. So how let's about? say. I'm going to break it up into four or five segments. Yeah. So what they'll do is when they first start, when they first start, we'll give them an upfront check just to get, get them going, right? Mm -hmm. So they have to have the floor done, the wiring, the plumbing, and everything that's in the floor, spray foam, get the deck down. They get it framed, right? Mm -hmm. Get it completely framed. Okay. And dried in, not siding, just windows and doors. And then they get another check. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So when they then they go on, they'll do all the outside siding. They'll do the soffits, the fascias, the gutters. The the complete outside is done. They get another check. Okay. Then they go inside when they get completely V groove trimmed and everything. They get another check, and then when it's completely done with the, all the trimmings of the water 
I mean, the plumbing, the heating and air, fireplaces, I mean, neat as a pin, and it's ready to leave. Yeah. They get another check. Mm -hmm. And then we hold $1,000 out for 90 days. Because right. our, our warranty is a 90-day warranty of what you're going to do. And now, the thing is, is that we've also learned that when we deliver these homes, we got to drain the water of them because they're going to freeze in the winter going across the country. Mm -hmm. And if you, as a homeowner, get your house and it pulls up in the driveway and you guys don't have water, power, and sewer... We have to have a checklist from you guys that, hey, we did the checklist, but we want to make sure you get the checklist. Mm -hmm. And you make sure before that driver leaves, we could, I'd love to hook it up to water and power and sewer. But if you don't, you got seven days to hook up your water, power, and sewer to verify that, hey, this has been good, right? If there's a problem with it, that $1,000 we hold back is a partnership's responsibility to take care of that. Right. Because they're subcontractors. They're not hourly workers. So they're responsible 100% mm -hmm. financially. For your home. Because we call them partnerships, but it's essentially, it is a subcontractor. You're a subcontractor because yeah. we're paying you the labor to build the house. Correct. And they make great money compared if they're by they the do. hour. Correct. Right? Yeah. And so that all reassures everybody, but my name's still on it. I mean, you know, Incredible Tiny Homes' name's on oh, the yeah. house. Their name's on it, on a contract, mm -hmm. but not publicly, right? Yeah. Unless we, answer, you know, we put it on the website. That's how the partnerships work. Um, we train you as you come here. You work 90 days. Uh, I think uh, Vince built two homes. He's done. He's got it down. He's ready to go build. Right. Um, we got guys out here that's built three or four. They still don't feel good enough to do it. Right? Right. It's how engaged you are, how much you retain knowledge, how mm -hmm. much you want it. Did you take notes? Are you eager? Are you ready? I mean, if I was here, I'd want to build one and go home and work, right? Because I can mm -hmm. make some money. So... It's all different. You know, I've even learned to select my partners in a different way. Right. You know, like I said the other night, partnerships, they're not built for somebody to come and learn and go back and let some other people build the houses that you've learned to build. Right. Right. It's just, I mean, you can do that, but I don't, I want guys that come here, learn to build, they go back physically and they build because you guys as, car, as customers get to know your builder. You know, Mike, right? Right. You know, Joseph. You know, Matt, you know, all these guys. And so it, you build this relationship. I want you to have a relationship with all of us. So when they go back home, I want you to know Fred, you know, or whoever's building the house, not Fred's guys. Right. Right? Mm hmm And the only way that a partnership can do that is to not pay their labor good. Right. Right? Because they're only getting paid labor. So if you go back home and you think, oh, I'm going to hire a couple of young cronies out here and I'm going to pay them, you know, hardly nothing to build a house and I'm going to pocket the money and we're going to build four at a time and I'm going to get money but I don't have to do nothing, that won't work. No. Our partnerships are made for craftsmen right. that love to build homes. Right. And you want to build them because you like building and you like tiny homes mm -hmm. and you want to build some really pretty homes and you want to build them in your in your backyard or at a shop near your home so it's convenient. We do all the marketing, we do all the sales, we deliver all the materials and we take care of those things. You right. Know? So that's the that's how the partnerships work. And with that said, if it's well trained, the guys are doing really good work through our quality control, through our videos, through our pictures, through our meeting. Like I went to Oregon and I'll inspect their what they're doing. And, and, and we'll stay on it more now with BART on, on board. We may have to have some more quality control people. We're able to grow and build more. This is a process in which we can build more homes, but stay in a really good quality control environment, right? right? Mm -hmm. So if you got a guy at home, all he's doing is building one home. I love the idea of that. If we come here and we're building 40 under this roof, oh my God, the chaos. It's already hard to build 15 at a time. I don't want to build 40 here at a time. Right. <clears throat> but I'd sure love to have 40 Vince's and David's. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. They go back home. Randy, I love building just two homes a month or one home a month. They build one home a month. They make six. Do. Bam. 6 p.m. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. So <clears throat> that's, that's how the partnerships works. That's how I want men to come here and learn to build these homes for us, okay? So um, that's how we can grow and keep the quality that we started with. And I think it'll quality even get better when you've got a man 
just building one home at a time. Yeah. The homeowner sees it. We see it. It's documented, and we're organized with it. I'm just excited about it, everybody, because if we ended up saying, hey, there's 500 homes a year to build, I don't want to build 500 homes under this roof. I'd love to spread it out across the country, you know, and we can keep track of it. And I think you guys could maybe even have a home builder near you building our homes. So hang in there with us. We're going to show you all year long how we, how we get closer and closer to this reality of what we try to put out there, okay? So just hang in there with us, and um, we'll show you the step-by-step -step how we're going to do it. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a video out on our website talking about our design. And if you're a new customer, and that's why I want to talk tonight about design. I ain't even got to it yet. And I, I don't know if you guys are wanting to hear all this, but it's done. Yeah, show the it's design. Yeah. All right. So, But the design is really important. That's what I wanted <laughs> to get to. So you just bought a house. I mean, you just signed a contract and want a house. In that, in that contract, we need a, look here, it dried up on me. I've been playing around with it. Oh, no, it's been open. Okay. So, we need a sketch, right? So, we need a sketch from you along with your contract. In that sketch, for years and years and years, I have been telling, you know, the public, it's usually, you know, a rectangle, and all I always tell them, I said, you could take a crayon and you could mark where you want things, right? Well, that's when I was doing the drawings myself. I draw them, take a picture, send them to you, and be done. So you say, hey, in this general area, I want my kitchen. I don't know what cabinets look like or how to draw them. But I know I want my bathroom down here, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, ah, my bathroom. And so if my kitchen's there, my bathroom's there. I'm going to have to have a side door somewhere. Well, I know I've got a view on this side. And, and my driveway comes in here, so if he does, he's going to pull it in, and this is going to be where my tongue is. Mm -hmm. Just kind of visualize a picture in your head like you're looking it down from a helicopter. And they're going to say, you know, with my view, I want a deck here. You know, eventually, if I can get Bob to build me a deck, if he ever get out of bed. And then over here, I say, I'm going to put a door on this side, and I think if this is my bathroom, my kitchen, I'm probably going to want this one big area, and I got this beautiful love seat that I want to put here. And so I want this picture window here. Well, you know what? The best thing probably do is probably put that door right here by my kitchen. And I've got this area. So you've got the all in your head, right? But you haven't done anything to scale. All I know is you've got a kitchen here, kitchen here. So with that said, then we ask you to come over here. And we call it, well, I've always called it, it's a wish list. All right? So on the wish list, you're going to write on here, you know what I want? i got to have a dishwasher. Okay, this is all on your contract. All right, this is on your contract, but you, you got to pay extra for a dishwasher. We don't do them. But let's say you know what? In my kitchen, I want a farm style sink. F S S. How's that? Farm style sink. Then you might have a closet. Okay, I want a washer and dryer. Um, a mini split. Yeah, I want a mini split, and that might be included in the mm -hmm. base price of like a Freedom, right? Right. Okay. There's so many, there's endless things you could want. Maybe in your bathroom, you want a vanity. Okay. Well, it gives something to build off of. That's what, yeah. that's so, what you start with. So this wish list tells our design team, mm -hmm. what do you want in here? Yeah. This is what I used to do when I would draw. Now, our designs have went from my doing them, which was never, I built off of my designs and I didn't have to project all that information to other guys, right? Mm -hmm. So it was easy for Tom, John, Joseph and I to build these homes. But now for a lot of men in out of state and away from here, they have to be super detailed. So now what our design team has come up with is they've come up with a long list of more detailed things that they need. Now we have to have, you know, it's nice, is what color roofing do you want? Right? Color metal, right? We also want to know what type of siding do you want, right? And we're, what we're trying to do now is our sales staff is trying to get all this information because it expedites our design really fast. The more homework you do, the faster we'll get the designs to you all, okay? So then we got siding, we got, you know, do you, maybe you want shutters, right? Um, some of you want some, you want some shake shingles. All this stuff has to be done. The more homework you do, you're going to say, you know what? I want shake, right? Shakes in my gable. 
Okay? And you just found out what a gable roof is. You found out what that triangle is. You know right. where it's at. How? Watching our videos. Mm -hmm. Maybe watching Pinterest. Maybe doing something like that. Tons and tons and tons and tons of homework. What I'm going to do, everybody, is because we sell a house starting out at $20,000, which is unheard of. Right. A complete home that you will always have a place to live for twenty grand. Bart was telling me today, do you know the national average for a car is forty two grand? Jeez. For a car, the national average is forty two thousand. Mm. Do you also know that when you take when you pay forty two thousand dollars for a car, he said this is a study they did. He said, Do you know when you drive it off the lot, it loses forty two percent of its value? Oh my goodness. As soon as you drive it out there and you sign your name on it, mm. you've lost almost half. So what is that? Probably $28,000. That's all your car is worth, and you're paying wow. for forty two. dollars Yeah. You take this $20,000 home, mm -hmm. right? How much do you think it's going to be when you pull it off our lot? Mm -hmm. I think when you leave, it's worth more than that. Oh, I, yeah, I think I'm being conservative. Way more. We've talked to builders. They wouldn't touch our $20,000 home. No. Less than fifty. dollars mm -hmm. That was only one. There might be some guys out there who do less. All right? So... You're going to invest twenty grand, and you've already got maybe some equity already in your home. All right? Mm -hmm. That said, we have to, as you can see, how could we make money off of that? Not a lot. So it's in numbers, and we're not there yet. We have to change this scenario, and we have to have more information from you because we can't afford our design team. Right. All right? So our design team has to be paid for if you don't have all your information and we have to work through this. Right. Okay? So there's going to be some sort of design fee, all right, to get your house done. Right. All right? Um, we're trying to cut everywhere we can mm -hmm. to last in this business. Right. And so this is where we're at. We'll still do customs, still do customs. We'll still put anything you want on that house. We'll still do gypsy wagons, round roofs, you name it. I love building anything you want. We need your detailed information information yeah. to get that done that's true okay? yes so that's the biggest thing tonight that i want to come by tomorrow i want to show you actual designs models that we're going to come up with mm -hmm. all right we're going to have actually models to choose from and i'm going to try to come up with i don't know right now i think i've got about i probably got eight models that i want to show right, right. those models will be on our website you can take the model Let's say, you know, we're going to name them. The models will have names. You'll take, let's say, number one model. You're going to say, hey, I want that home. You choose from it, and you, you know you want that. If you want to veer away from that model, you like it, but you want to add stuff to it, great. But we may have some sort of fee involved in that because those blueprints will now not work. Well, the, the models will be, there won't have to be blueprints. And then if it goes with anything else, it turns into custom, right? Yeah, so this mm -hmm. model, home, the blueprints are already done. And I mean, that takes, so that doesn't have to wait for design, and it can be ready to build. You're probably looking with all the overheads, the computers, mm -hmm. paying, the, paying the designers, paying uh, the whole team involved in that. I'm estimating we're probably looking at maybe $1,000 per design. Mm -hmm. If we have blueprints already done and you take, hey, I want model number one, Randy, that is beautiful. I've looked at all eight of them. This fits my best needs. That's going to save us money and save you guys money. Right. Right. If you want to veer away from one and you want to add a lot of customizations to it, mm -hmm. love to do it. All right. But we're going to have to charge some sort of design fee mm -hmm. in the future. We haven't started it yet. Haven't done anything with that yet. But we're going to try to start. We have to help compensate. So what we're doing is we're sharing that burden with right. you guys. You give us information, expedites it. It's going to keep the design cost down. Right? But if you have, I mean, what I like about the whole thing about the models, because some people may get discouraged and say, oh, no, they're just going to have like two or three things to pick from. If you put eight different models, I mean, literally, that covers everything we do well, it, it, pretty much, you know? I'm hoping it's 80, 90 percent of the homes we've sold. Yeah. I'm trying to put as many models. I, mm -hmm. You know what? If I can, I'll have, you know, 15 models. 
Um, yeah, and David said on here, what was it he said? Uh, your YouTube channel is a vast library for learning about building, understanding the features, aspects, and everything like that. So you're going to have it, you can have everything already ready yeah. to send in. Yeah. Have it all the ready to send is, in. The thing is, we don't have to do the blueprint anymore. Right. You know, it's already done. We'll have a library of blueprints. If I could have, you know, I think, and I don't know if they're out of business now, but, you know, Tumbleweed had, I don't know, six or eight different prints right. or whatever they had, and you could do things. The thing is, is if we don't have to have all the design team yeah. on this, if they can, yeah. we pull it out, guys build it, pull it out, guys build it. But if I, I don't care if we got, you know, I don't care if we got 20 models, right? Right. They're all done and mm -hmm. they're over and you take it and you got to run with, with no changes on it. Right. As soon as there's a change it's on it, It's quicker you get your house. As soon as there's a change. Let's say somebody says, well, you know, Randy, I want a picture window instead of that 3.0 window. Mm -hmm. It's for physically, for me personally, I would just say, okay, great picture window i'll cross it off and do that mm -hmm. but to do it in this environment you can't no because we've got 20 30 homes going on mm -hmm. so that's got to be emailed to the mm -hmm. design team the design team emails that to their office the office makes a change order mm -hmm. right then it goes back to the salespeople. they have to document it then it goes back to the design team it's where they go on process. the computer so it's going through about i don't know how many people five six different oh, yeah. processes mm -hmm. which cost time is money right right and then hopefully that process, the materials itself, is not lost, right, mm -hmm. in inventory to make sure the inventory team knows that there's been a change, the prints are on co-construct, the, the, the uh, list of inventory we mm -hmm. have to have has hopefully it's been changed because we got a set model. We got to be able to put on here a picture window instead of a 3040. Well, and two, Denny brought up a good point. It says, don't forget, customers also need to send information on appliances, sizes, electrical there draw, you go. Um, electrical draw brand, et cetera, uh, receptacles, placement, things like that. Perfect. I'm so glad that she said that. Um, and that's what we'll get into tomorrow. And I think okay. it's a him, but I'm not oh, sure. Oh, him. I'm well, sorry. Well, we don't know. Yeah, whoever that I was. I think it's D. I think he used to be, a, a, he was a customer of ours, okay. right? Well, hey, buddy, I appreciate that because. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hey, buddy. I want to tell you, <laughs> I have a list. I have a list that the design team is yeah. asking for. Information they're design, mm -hmm. they're asking for. Yeah. Let me bring that list tomorrow. Yeah. We have a customer here. That's the one, the 8, mm -hmm. eight 10 by 16. Yeah. What I liked about her sketch was just a sketch. We're building off of her sketch. Right. Not mm -hmm. a blueprint at all. Right. The whole house. But what she had on there is she had the beam, right? I mean, she had her house, had a shed dormer coming down, you know, across and, oh man, I'm messing up. And uh, had her little design. Then she had a reverse gable over on the backside. Well, inside up here, she said, hey, can you guys put a plug right here for Christmas lights? Mm -hmm. She had a, We got a beam coming up here. She wants to put Christmas lights. She wants another plug in there for Christmas lights. She actually said, hey, I want a doggy door here, and I want a window here, mm -hmm. and then my steps are going to go up to the top, and this is the only place, you know, I want my mini split here. And then she wanted, it, and it wasn't fancy at all. It was just plain, mm -hmm. precise, and it was easy. And it wasn't that much. It right. took, but it took, that customer had to think through all that. Mm hmm and that's what we're asking you all to do. So right. with that, that a comment, it did have electrical. Mm -hmm. It did have plumbing. And it did have a layout in the windows where they're located. I can build off a sketch. I have, I have built 73 log homes in our old resort and never had a blueprint. Right. It was always on an 8x11, one piece of paper, no elevations or anything. But the guys yeah. here can't do that. No, we can't do that. We're in a we're in a production mode, you know. Now, but, so. uh, talk about the stucco just really quick because um, somebody's asking about how many colors can you use. What's the deal? Okay. How how expensive is it for us? I mean, could, do we just order? Because I mean, like, does it come in a bucket? Does it? Okay, stucco. Okay, yeah. stucco. Um. These are on our ESP, Engineered Steel Panels. Okay. All right. So when you stucco them, go to a product, go to YouTube, and look up, I believe it's stucco with one C, F-L-E-X. Okay. Okay? Go there. You'll see how it's applied. You'll see the product. It's a great product, right? Okay. Research it and go with it. 
colors. All right? Any color known to man. Mm -hmm. All right? So, pretty much every color you could ever want is through Sherman, Sherwin Williams. Mm -hmm. Okay? Sherwin Williams. If you go to their color squat swatch or you'll go to their website or anywhere you can find their colors, mm -hmm. they'll have that and four digit number that follows that. Mm -hmm. So you want outside colors, you want inside colors, all right? We will take any color you want. So if you want two colors on the outside and two colors on the inside, what are you shaking your head for? Isn't that a lot? I mean, no. like, it's not? Okay. It's all the same price. Okay. Same application, right? The thing is, it's hard to get two colors, right? Why are you going to put two colors on the outside? You got all the walls. The only thing that I would say if you have two colors, Amanda's scared that we're going to be confused. And I understand what she's worried about. If you get two yeah. colors, it's going to be more labor and we're going to lose money. And we're not going to be able to come up with it. And I understand what she's doing. But if you guys do colors... <clears throat> this is all going to be metal roofing on here, right? Mm -hmm. So if you do colors, let's say you do a tan here, right? You're not going to want to put a, another whole color on the side here. But it goes around all the corners, right? You're not going to have wood corners. You're not going to have different colored corners. No, we don't do that. But if you wanted to take that gable and make it a red, that's fine, all right? So red and tan, something like that. That's what I mean by two colors, I guess, too, what I'm thinking about, too, is, like, if it comes in a bucket and you only use a little bit of red, that other red's going to be wasted. You put two coats on. You'll mm -hmm. put a scratch coat on, and you'll put another coat on. Each gable, if we did four coats, that's one bucket. Mm -hmm. All right? And then we calculate the square footage on the sides. Okay. On the inside of the house, you got your interior walls, and then you've got your ceiling, right, mm -hmm. that you have to do. We calculate the square footage on that. That's why we like doing what we were doing. We were doing our 8 by 24 and we're going to start stuccoing a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. um, the guys are telling me today, we're ready to stucco. We want to see how that's done. And they right. want to, they've never done it. They want to learn. We're going to teach them. Scott and I are going to do that. Mm -hmm. We'll figure out the, the, uh, the volume that you need. I suggest that some of the people who said, hey, I don't want, you know, I can't afford to do the stucco myself. Or you don't, can't afford us to pay, to pay us. Go on here and you can order your own stucco. You, can, you know, it's in Knoxville. I don't know if they, they, I'm sure they could ship it to you. And what I do, there's a couple different ways. You won't, the way I did it is not the way they do it on here. I'm not an actual stucco uh, professional, all right? I'm a sheetrocker when I mm -hmm. used to spread mud. I use a pan and a knife. They call it a big 12-inch knife. And I put that on and I work better with a knife because I've learned how to smooth with a knife. The other ones use a trowel. And they have a, um, I forgot what they call it. It's a, it's a handle with a flat plate on the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You scoop it and put it on there. You take this trowel and you get it on your trowel and you spread it with a trowel. And two, you learned that um, the first one that you did, that you started spraying some water or mixing some water. Yeah. And, had to. and with the stucco yeah. flex, mm -hmm. they, they mix water. They'll get a little bit wet. Mm -hmm. So I've tried a different way. I had never used it before, so I had to learn myself. Interesting, yeah. It was hot out. It was like 90-some yes. degrees. So what I was doing when I was spreading it, it was drying on me before I could even go back right. and smooth it. Uh, um, I can't. I don't know the handle, but said, Randy, that is called a hawk. A hawk. That's a right. Hawk. That's right. There you go. Thank it's a you. Hawk. Thank you. I, guys will use that for sheetrock. I just never mm -hmm. have. I've learned to use it with a pan. But... um. When you, when you do the stucco, you can't make it real thick because it'll just run like water. Mm -hmm. Real thick water, like honey. Right. So you got to do it really thin. Two coats will be fine. It'll cover the screws on the stucco. Mm -hmm. I've done it. So when you do the stucco, you'll either, I do it with my knife. You can do it with a hawk and a trowel. And that's what you'll see when you go to stuccoflex.com or stuccoflex on YouTube. And you'll see how it's applied. Mm -hmm. I, you know what? I don't, you can't really get into too much trouble Mm -hmm. Because if you get on there and you make it real bumpy and stuff, you can always go over top of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can, you can, and it's tough stuff. It's like rubber when you're can putting you, it on. Can you can you paint over it? Robin's asking if you, you don't like the color. Can yes. you paint over it? Well, okay, you can paint over it, sure. And to the uh, whoever put that on there about the hawk said my dad was a plasterer. There you go. So what's plaster? Is that sheetrock? That's sheetrock mud. Okay, sheetrock mud. Okay. Yep. yep. All right. So, but stucco is. I think it's to me. It's fun. I I really like. Being able, you know, the 24 footers are 25 grand. It's definitely pretty. I, I like the stucco look. Uh, what is the stucco for, real quick? Sonny wants to know. The stucco is for, it's a synthetic rubber. It mm -hmm. won't 
it won't help on any um, waterproofing or any mm -hmm. um, uh, R value. It's to give color. Yeah. It's to give color, texture, finished product. On our panels, if you guys have seen, we got our panels, right? And you'll see those seams. They're about every 20 inches, you've got a panel. Mm -hmm. And then you've got these nails or screws. They're screws all over here trying to hold these things together. When you put the stucco on, you trowel it over and you cover all that, mm -hmm. right? And if you do it really good, it's not as slick as this board, but it'll be as, it'll be as smooth with a, with a sandy finish, all right? Now... They also make a, they make the same product without the sand. Okay? Now mm -hmm. listen to me. I've never used it. I bought some, mm -hmm. and I thought I could trowel it on. I don't know how thick it was. So I grabbed it, and it was like too thin. It was, it's thicker than paint, but a lot, a lot as thick as the, mm -hmm. with the sand in it. I would like to try this. Now, I haven't done it before, but if you trowel this on, or the homeowners, you guys can do this, We'll trial it on. It'll have just a little bit. It's called fine sand finish. The stucco is. Mm -hmm. uh, Cindy Canton's out here. Hers is like that way. Yeah. At the, uh, Cindy was on here earlier. Yeah. At mm -hmm. the um, the Hobbit House. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you take the stucco that's not got um, the sand in it, you might be able to paint over that and make a smoother finish. I've just never tried it. Okay. All right. Any more questions, Amanda? Um, about the like the um, the outside of it, like what what's the breakdown of a stucco? How long will it last? Do we know I, much you know, about like it? Somebody the flex? It, it was we were talking about stucco flex, and somebody I think went on the website or they seen an email. They seen somebody talking about it. There was an example of a subdivision in Arizona. You all know the heat they have in Arizona. Subdivision was 16 years old, and they came back after 16 years of the stucco flex product, and it looked exactly like day one. That's amazing. And this stucco flex, awesome stuff. It's got that rubbery kind of yeah. stuff, too, so it's going to last. Yep, won't crack or anything. That's Everybody, awesome. Everybody, would you push your like bucket for me? And where is the like bucket? We've lost it, have we? Gosh, I probably used it somewhere. Oh, my gosh. Hit your like button for you, if you would, for me. Five, four, three, two. One, if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up if you would. Helps us promote the video. Helps us get the word about who we are, what we're doing. We come on here every single day, five days a week, every day. Not once a week, not twice a week, not pre-recorded, live. You'll see tears, you'll see laughter, you'll see people getting mad. You can see people getting mad at me. Right, Amanda? Always. All right. It's all always live it's always going on full blast i said like bucket pushed <laughs> like bucket pushed yep and i heard today will I mean, the, we, you know what michael just said michael what? just said the black bucket is with his shirt the rocky shirt we don't know where the rocky shirt is randy won't produce it so he won't tell who i got he, it in my shed he won't tell who he's giving it to you know i live in michael, a shed i live in a shed okay everybody. yeah here we go he's got to divert <laughs> Yeah, it's probably with it, Michael. Yes. <laughs> yep. So if you guys do that, it helps. That's us awesome. They, we've got 314 right now. They, it's the locks. We got 256. That's oh, amazing. That's I mean, amazing. it jumped up there. God, that's like what? Seventy percent. So awesome. They're so good on here, and it's just a shame. I know because you're having to do all the talking and stuff, but I get to read all the comments and stuff, and everybody just everybody's so encouraging. They come up with the best questions. They're so. Um, Oh, what they're, they're interactive. interactive on here. That makes it so fun. I know. I wish I could see a screen and I could. Oh, yeah, Judy. Oh, okay, you'd be mad. Be oh, you'd be mad. Why would I be mad, man? All oh, the nice things. Oh, yeah. All Are my you things. reading some bad my, things? Oh, no. All nice things oh, about no. you. You got no trolls everything, on there? Oh, no. No. Everything's, you mean, everything's everybody's good. Everybody's really complimentary. Everybody's so always. Yeah. Man, always but says, you don't want to read them. Smile, man. Smile. <laughs> but you don't want to read them. <laughs> God, here I've looked. I look like a bovine dressed in rags. So what are you? You're not dressed in rags. I got a hole in my shirt. Well, it's, yeah. it's because you put a hole in your shirt. Ah! So this week is all going to be about design. It's tomorrow going to be about design. As yes, well. we got to go. I want to go over the list of what we want you to include in, in your design. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And show you how you can incorporate that into design. I also want. I want to show you guys how it can lay out all right mm -hmm. we've got the models i want to show you maybe those eight models i have in my mind okay that's then, a good idea and i want to show you what i've got in my mind the layout of the living room the windows and all that all these homes <laughs> that we've been building for so long that i'm trying to incorporate all this in a model so you guys won't have to choose something different um just the final question here and of course it's from my favorite travis 
Hello, Travis. Oh, here he's going to slam me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said, yeah, I got a damn question. Where's the doghouse design? Isn't that what we started with? We never saw no doghouse. And look at poor Ace. That was he's my intro, up. no doghouse. He's give up on a doghouse. He ain't getting no doghouse. Aw. That was my theatrical <laughs> in, in, I, had a, I had a song for you today. Hey, listen, Travis, I saved you, buddy, because let me tell you something. He was going to bell her out a big old song, and really? I was like, uh, Randy, you might want to rethink that. I gave him the Travis eye roll, like, uh. Really? <laughs> uh, yes. Man, you can tell, can't you? I just. I'm glad I don't read comments. If I did, I'd never probably sing a song. Oh, you'd never sing a song? No. No. Mm -mm. So, I don't care. I'm on here. The only person in here is Ace and you. <laughs> Travis, That's said, it. Travis said, oh, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All, All right. right. Good. Are we wrapping it up? Mm. This is a wrap, everybody. It's a wrap. Man, it's How? Tuesday night. You're so Tuesday. Good. You're so Every impressive. day is a Tuesday. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yes. We'll be back here tomorrow. Um, hey, one thing I'm going to uh, tell you. I'm going to tell him about Walt. Oh, okay. okay Have you man. talked to Walt? Nope. Have not talked to him at well, all. You need to talk to him first, don't you? All right. I'm going to tell you guys. Walt at Mustard Seed <clears throat> has approached me and wants to come onto the show and do a nutritional advice segment to our show. Mm -hmm. Grabbing a hold of us at a certain time is like grabbing a wet fish in the water. Yeah. All it right? ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't know the temperament we're going to be in. I don't know nothing. We grab these things after a long day. We come on, and I don't know what's going to happen. He is super orderly. He has to have structure. I know yeah. he has to make it happen. I can't even call him and say, be here, you know? So I want him to do a show on our show, and he's going to talk about nutrition. He said, Randy, there's a lot of people that need to hear how to be healthy and how to not get colds and fight to COVID and immune systems. And I'm, I love that. That's a hobby of mine is trying to live longer and be healthier and all that stuff. So we're thinking about, if he will, is maybe we can do a show with him once a week. All right? Mm -hmm. So it's something we'll throw out there. If you guys want to tune in, we'll say, hey, and that's all we'll talk about is nutrition for him. Probably 10 minutes, he said. Yeah, exactly. And then he can help, you know, he was thinking about putting out there that people can follow a protocol and measure their response. And we'll announce and it when that. and all that. So we'll give everybody plenty of time on that. Not even sure he'll do it now. But yeah. he wanted to come on every day with us. And I didn't know how the nutritional... Lord, we can barely come on every day. Oh, I know. Oh, my it's, God. It'd be hard. It's exhausting. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what we're thinking about doing okay. later on. We'll let everybody know. Yep. Let you know. Bye. Yeah. Let's let you know. Bye. That's about it. <laughs> Thanks, Travis. I love Travis. I gotta go build a doghouse. <laughs> oh, and we're still doing. Oh God, the special. It's right about. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Erase all that <laughs> with your head. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> yes. So today is not the first day; it's second day. So. Today is the second day <laughs> of our ten by twenty God. special. Go yesterday on Monday and see the video. Pretend it was it. yesterday. So yeah, we'll pretend. <laughs> so ten by twenty foam house. Well, we're calling it the ESP. What's it called? What's it stand for again? Oh, ESP? Amanda, are you are you on the team or what? Oh, I'm trying to keep up. ESP. In it's uh, in engineered. Yes, eared. engineered um, steel panels. Steel. I feel like something's missing there. Ain't you supposed to put foam in it somewhere? You know what? Oh, because you want to do ESP. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's Travis, what he would do. Yeah, Travis, what would you call it? I feel like there e needs to be foam in there, don't it? P. Don't everybody need to know it's got foam in Engineered it? Engineered structural I mean, foam I'm panels. Asking. You know what, ESFP? That doesn't flow, Amanda. I got a word for you that starts with F. ESFP. How's that? The film is that I'm with you, Amanda. There you go. E. ESFP? Yeah. Oh, God, all this is so hard to it's say. It's too much. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ESFP. <laughs> you want an ESFP? ESFP. No, I'd rather have an ESP. <laughs> it's, oh, who just said that? Now, that's funny. Tisha, WWTD, what would Travis do? <laughs> Travis, Travis, tell us what to do. Please tell us, Travis. We'll do whatever you want. <laughs> what would Travis do? 
Uh-huh. Yeah. What so, would so Travis, Travis do? think about it and let us all know tomorrow night what we're going to do, what we're going to call we'll it. We'll do whatever you say. <laughs> love it. WWTD. God. What would Travis do? You know, I was just thinking. That's we signed funny, off. Tisha. We signed off 10 minutes ago. Oh right? my God, we did. And he gets revved up at the end. <laughs> so don't turn us off until we say we really... Travis said y'all have lost it. Alright, Benji said insulated foam house. IFH. Well, I don't know. Well, where do you put the steel? You know what we're trying to get over? Yeah, we're trying... We need some. When you say foam, it means warm, but it also kind of sounds weak. Cheap. We can cheat. Oh, we can cheat. We go engineered steel panels. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Strong man. I just feel like it needs it needs to be something. Oh, Amanda. Oh no. We'll study it. Let's study on it. Pray about it, everyone. Hey. (laughs) Oh sugar. Oh sugar. (laughs) Yeah, that's it. Oh sugar. I'm out. I'm out too. Lord, I'm starving. Go home, Amanda. I know I'm hungry and tired. Later, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow. Oh, Ace is out. Done. He is absolutely done. Oh, he woke up a little dabber. (laughs) Look at him, Randy. (laughs) Him is that poor old dirty blanket. Night, buddy.